often you will be asked to find which between which two whole numbers or consecutive whole numbers are these square roots or any square root between what do they mean well we want to find two whole numbers that approximate this square root how do we do that well 17 the square root of 17 is above 4 how do i know well 4 squared is too small it's 16 and 17 is above 16 so 4 squared and 4 is too small. Well, what about 5 squared? Well, 5 squared is 25, right? What does that mean? Well, that means that 5 is too large of a root for 17. So when they say, between which two consecutive whole numbers is this square root between? This one right here, the square root of, oops, the square root of 17. We could say it's between 4, between 4 and 5. You could say it's even closer to 4 because 16 is closer to 17 than 25, but these two numbers are consecutive, meaning one after another. So what about this square root? Between which two consecutive whole numbers is this square root? Well, what about, what do we know about 1,000? Well, we know that, that if I take 30 times 30, that's, think of it like 3 times 3, which is 9, well, 30 times 30 is 100 times larger, it's 900. That's too small. So this means that 30 squared, which is 900, is less than 1,000, so 30 is too small. What about 31? And here, we can do some guessing here. Well, 31 squared, if I plug it in, I would get 961, also too small. What about 32 squared? Well, we can work this out. 32 times 32. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. Add a 0 because now we're dealing with 30 times 2, which is 60. And 3 times 3 is 9. So that's, that's 4, 12, 1, 1,024. That's bigger than 1,000. So I know that the square root of 1,000 should be between 32 and 31. What's it closer to? Well, it's closer to 32 because 1,024 is closer to 1,000 than 961. So that would be my answer for that one. All right, hope that helps.